Amen. Emmanuel. You may be seated. Thank you. As the Spirit directs. Have you said your prayer today? That is the question. Have you said your prayer today? Can somebody answer me? I say, God, I am coming to worship today, and I pray that the man of God locate me and answer my prayer. How do you offer the prayer? I offer the prayer to Almighty Father to bless me, to remove every sickness that is in me, and I offer the prayer to Almighty Father to make Prophet TV Joshua locate me today. I pray to God, and I first of all thank him for bringing me to Lagos safely. And I told him to locate me, God of Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, to locate me today. That he should not pass me by, that he should favor me. That was my prayer. My prayer was, God, I'm now here in the arena of liberty. Don't pass me. May the Holy Spirit be here with me up to the end and receive from the man of God. Receive for what I've been crying for. Are you crying or you are laughing? I'm laughing. I'm laughing now because I'm here. In sincerity of your heart, you answer this question. Did you read your Bible before you offered that prayer? You know, I did not read the Bible. Okay, give it to my father. Have you read your Bible today? I did not read the Bible today. Uh -huh. I did not read my Bible because I woke up very early. In the no, day. don't tell us. <laughs> but you are not woke up too late to pray. But you woke up too late to read the Bible. Okay, thank you. This is where we are going today. Is it possible to start speaking Spanish without understanding the language? So what of French? What of English? Prayer has a language. And the language is in the Word of God. Tell your neighbor. The language is in the Word of God. It has a language, and the language is in the Word of God. Prayer and Bible reading should always go together. Because the language is in the Word of God. So, prayer and Bible reading should always work. So let's go together. Because the language is in the word of God. The word is our contact with God. The word. That is the word of God. Is our contact with God. There's no way you can contact God with your language. Language of today. Without language of the Bible. You cannot contact God with language of today. It's not possible. Hello, fine, how are you? You can only contact God with Bible language, language of the Bible, which is the word of God. Can you see where we are getting it wrong every day? We are getting it wrong. When we open the Bible and read, we are hearing God talk. Tell your neighbor, when you open the Bible and read, you are hearing God talk. The problem we have today is simply because 
we are reading Bible with so much unforgiveness. That is why the Bible is literature to us. When you read Bible with so much unforgiveness, you are reading literature with so much bitterness, pain of the past, bad feeling towards others. You are reading literature, history, biological book, chemistry. That is the problem we have. We are reading the Bible with so much unforgiveness, bad feeling towards others, those who insult you, those who cheat you, those who... You must read the Bible with a free spirit. A free spirit is spirit that free from unforgiveness, free from bitterness, hatred, pain of the past, bad feeling towards others, free, free, free. So today we read the Bible with so much unforgiveness, bad feeling, pain of the past. So what do you expect? You should not be surprised. The Bible mean nothing to you. Scripture is important for prayer. Because it is what God says himself. What is important to prayer? Scripture is important to prayer. Because it is what God says himself. When you open the Bible and read, you are hearing God talk. When you are praying, it's you talk. This is reason you are to fill your prayer with scripture. To use Scripture in prayer is to take God at his word. To use scripture in prayer is to take God at his word. When you fill your prayer with scripture, you are in line with God. are in line with God. So can you see the three people we call? One said, I, was, I woke up very late to read my Bible, but she did not wake up very late to pray. Tell your neighbor, you wake up very late to read your Bible but you did not wake up very late to pray. Give me biscuits, give me biscuits, oh Lord. Give me biscuits, oh Lord. Give me biscuits, oh Lord. You never wake up very late to do that. You have never missed that. It's a tradition. God, I'm going to my work. Protect me, protect me. Yeah, it's an idea. But to read your Bible, When you open the Bible and read, you are hearing God talk. That is the language of, of prayer. Prayer has a language, and the language is in the Word of God. Scriptural prayer releases God's power. What releases God's power? Be healed and there's healing. That is scriptural prayer. Be delivered and there's deliverance. That is scriptural prayer. 
be blessed and there is blessing. That, that is scriptural prayer. Word enriched prayer. Word enriched prayer. The word of God enriched prayer. Tell your neighbor, enrich your prayer with the word of God. Enrich your prayer with the scripture. That is, enrich your prayer with scripture. That is, fill your prayer with what? Scripture. Because scriptural prayer releases power. That is, bring Jesus into the scene. What brings Jesus into the scene? Jesus! In the person of Holy Ghost, you see, Jesus appear immediately. That is scriptural prayer. Scriptural prayer brings Jesus into the scene. So can you say the reason why you have not been offered an effective one? Because you pray with so much unforgiveness. We pray with so much bitterness, pain of the past, bad feeling towards others. Can you just answer me, what is prayer now? Can somebody, how, do, how will you go about your prayer? I know you pray today without reading the Bible. Yes. Okay, tell us how, which portion, how, how, how did you read the Bible? I read it through the direction of the Holy Spirit, First Samuel. You, you read the hardcover? Yes, Daddy. What is the hardcover? That is my Bible. Not that you just sit down and start reading laptop. No, oh, Daddy. I read it chapter by chapter every day. Hardcover. Yes, Daddy. Okay. Yes, Daddy. Tell us what you read. I read the book of First Samuel. What actually directs you there? By the grace of God, I've been reading from yeah, it, every it, where day. you read. So we want to learn from our mommy here today. To see what you, where you read. Yeah. Daddy, I read about King Saul. Yeah. He was disobedient to God. And that was why God removed the throne from him. Yes, Daddy. After reading that King Saul? Yes, sir. The point of your prayer. How did you offer the prayer? I prayed and I asked God, I saw what disobedience can cause in one's life. And I prayed that God will give me the grace not to disobey him. Love for Jesus. You listen to that? After reading the Bible, he used the point there. As a prayer point, as a prayer point, which is a very wonderful point, that as God, as Paul disobeyed, disobeyed the Lord, he said, God, give me the spirit, the power above disobedience. Yes, Daddy. Okay. So you have been reading the Bible? Every day, yes, Daddy, by the grace of God. Can you tell us the, the, the dividend? Oh. Daddy, Daddy, the dividend has been wonderful because um, once you have any challenge, by the special grace of God, if the Spirit of God directs you, I, you, you I, 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 I'm looking at the eternal passport here. What the eternal passport is doing inside your Bible? <laughs> you are looking for visa. <laughs> yes, Daddy. And then you want to pray over this. Jerusalem, yes, Daddy. You don't need to pray over it. Once God wants you to go there, you, yes, go there. you need to pray over that uh, the Lord should talk to the embassy to give you visa and make them sleep. <laughs> they need to pray over it. If you are designed to go there, you go there. Yes, Daddy. The, the challenge we have is attitude. Yes, Daddy. That's true, sir. You say, Lord, by the time I'm going there, let them just don't ask me any question. Why do you why, why do want, want them not to ask you questions? They will not ask you your bank account, the bank data. They will just say, okay, okay, come. Where are you going? I'll give you a visa. It's not. And uh, also, some of us will carry pen because we want to do exam. So you are going for examination. Uh, if you are not reading your book, how will you pass? 
So we go put the answer, every answer on your head, just like that, without reading. It is what we have done, we pray, that God should guide us and, and uh, reach us the need grace. Because uh, after we have finished this job, God still needs to mark it. If you have read your book and you finish reading it and you are going for, to, for your examination, you just say, God, I've read, please mark my job. So after you have finished the job, God needs to mark it. Okay? Sometimes when we finish reading, when we finish the job, God may mark it wrong. So it's, our effort is not an approval. God effort is the approval. I mean, God grace. Okay? Can okay, you see that? Thank so don't, just don't need to pray over this, okay? If you're going to embassy, just be, be right in, this, in, the, in the sight of God. Thank you. I say, Lord, I'm here. Thank you, you want me to go? Let, the way, let your will be done. Because where God wants us to be is where his blessing is. If God wants you to, be, to travel, his blessing will be there for you. But if God does not want, and it's not a design of God that you should go, and you want to force yourself to go there, definitely, I mean, we will, we will regret it. Okay, so thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Daddy. You cannot read your Bible with so much unforgiveness, bitterness, Envy, jealousy, pain of the past, all kind of pain. Somebody call me and bounce on me. I look at the way this little girl, little boy, I train him to school. He used to be my boy. Look at the way he addressed me. Very bad. You hold this pain and you want to read Bible. No. As long as we hold offense of any kind, the Bible means nothing to you. It has no meaning. So therefore, when you want to read your Bible, you should be prepared to get rid of all offenses, pain of the past. Okay? And uh, receive free spirit, like I have said. Free spirit is spirit that free from offense, unforgiveness, bitterness, envy, jealousy, bad feeling towards others. Free. And you get yourself, people and say, Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Then you can take Bible to read. Using the word, the word of God what you read in the Bible in prayer is taking God at his word. Fill your prayer with scripture proves that you are in line with God. That your prayer is in line with God. So thank you. Your challenge? Difficulty in working. A difficulty in working? Yeah. You listen to the message today? Yes. Okay, what message are you taking home? The message I'm taking home is that I'm healed in Jesus' name. Now, uh, my brother, my sister say, Shineke. Shineke, Idima. I say, what message are you taking home? The message I'm taking home is that. I'm here. If you don't take this message you, I preach today home, you will not be able to maintain your miracle. Not that you will not receive your miracle, you will receive it, but you will not be able to maintain it. Tell your neighbor, if you don't take this message home, if you don't take this message to your heart, you will receive healing, but you will not be able to maintain. The one that gave you is the one to maintain it. Who gave you?
Jesus. And Jesus is in his word. You must take this message. Receive it in the midst of your heart. If not, you will not be able to maintain the miracle. It's better not to receive than to lose. If you don't receive, it's better than receive it and lose it. Tell your neighbor, it's better not to receive than receive and lose it. If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. Yes. It's better not to receive blessing than to receive blessing and lose it. And not to lose it is only the message of God. You can even come here as a spy and you have pain. Very big pain and you are a spy. And you, are, you sit and while the prayer is, is going on, you just say, let me see, what are they doing here? What are they, eh? they are vomiting. Let eh? this woman walk. Eh? 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 Before you know it, you, the, the, the pain in your body disappears. You don't say, ah, the thing happened to me. <laughs> the thing happened to me. It's like uh, the whole thing is real. <laughs> ah, the whole thing is real. The pain I'm having is gone. Ah, will I continue to spy this church? Will I continue to spy TV Joshua? What will I do? Hmm. I need money. Let me spy them. They will pay me huge money. If I don't spy, they will not pay me. If I'm, if I'm not saying the, what I, I discover, they will not promote me. I will continue to spy. And that healing will be there. But the pain will still come back. But God just comes to tell you that what you are doing, be careful. No one can spy God. So please. Think about maintenance. All what you are here for now, the salvation. You have received salvation before, but you lost it. You lost it. You were once safe, proper one. Your salvation in the past, if they shoot you, it will not enter. But now, ordinary cutlass, they cut your head. <laughs> Jesus, before you know it, your head is gone. You are once properly saved, but you lost it. All what you are here for, you have got it before. It's only you fail to maintain them. You fail to maintain them. You are once eating wine with Jesus. But today, this time now is the problem. So, talking of miracle, talking of blessing, forget. Talk about maintainer. What I'm here, how will I maintain them? I'm here for all this. How will I maintain the, all what I'm here for? Talk about maintainer. Tell your neighbor, talk about maintainer. Because what you are here for is right on the table in front of you. So when we are praying, just say, Lord, give me the grace to maintain. Give me the grace to maintain me. You have, you have believed that you have received. Give me the grace to maintain. Yes, this is the prayer you should offer. All what you are here is, is a past tense victory. There are many people here that are once in the past a millionaire, but right, they're just on the street again. Many cars, houses, but today you can't give account of anyone. But today, the head of the companies, thousand people working under you, but today, you are working under people. So because you fail to maintain those things, your love with your husband, your love with your wife, your love with people around you, you fail to maintain this love. But today, a lot of things have turned upside down. Please, think about maintenance. And to maintain this, the word of God. Are you with me? Scripture is important to blessing. It's important to salvation. Important to all. It's the life wire of salvation. 
life wire of your blessing, the healing and all that, scripture, very important. Because it is what God says himself. Tell your neighbor again, scripture is important to my life. Scripture is important to my salvation. Scripture is important to my blessing. Scripture is important to my career. Because it's life wire. It is what God says himself. Do you know when you wake up in the morning and take your Bible to read and you are not praying, you are praying already. When you are reading with meditation, you are praying. Already you are praying. When you read Bible, you are praying. Tell your neighbor, when you read Bible, you are praying. You are praying. So, reading Bible, you are praying. With devotion, you know, you need a, a, an attention to read your Bible. You need what? Attention. Very, very one. Well. Attention means free of unforgiveness, free of bitterness, pain of the past. If you have those pain of the past, you can't have a real attention. If you are calling me on TV, just come. TV, just come. I'm not happy. After what, whom are you talking to? Please leave me because I'm not happy, I'm disturbed. But if I'm free from unforgiveness, bitterness, anger, bad feeling towards others, I only have attention when you are, you are free. Free spirit. So, but there is fake attention. Fake attention. Which many of you exercise when you are reading your, your, your national item. Okay. You do that day. Do that day. Do that day. But something scratch you. Oh, I just scratch myself. <laughs> because you that give attention to your nation, you are still going about doing evil against your nation. Vessel, kill it, steal it, destroy. Reattention does not kill. Reattention does not destroy. Reattention does not hold offense. Reattention does not hold bitterness, anger. Reattention does not have bad feeling towards others or pain of the past. Reattention. If you have the attention as you are sitting here, you will not be thinking of your business at home. You will not be thinking of when T.B. Joshua will live here today. When you will T.B. Joshua attend to me? What is going to happen? When are we going to have grace? Oh, my God. What is going to happen? Am I going to get here? Real attention does not think like that. Your attention will be on what I'm saying and how to obey them. You know you have dividing my... Dividing spirit. You are here, you are over there. Okay, come on, thank you. Thank you. Let's stand up. Y empezamos un tiempo de ministración de oración por parte del hombre de Dios, el profeta Tibilloso, aquí en la sinagoga, Iglesia de todas las naciones. Okay. Well, la mujer ha llegado con dificultad That's para. Problem.